Kindergarten, Miss Blair has some exciting things for us to do today. Who remembers what we talked about last week? You're right, we talked about the sun. Anything else? Right, the stars and the moon too. What, what are those considered? Does anybody know? Where are those located? You're right, in outer space. We also talked about something else. Does anybody remember what else we talked about? You're right. We talked about how people can travel to outer space. Now, how do they travel there? Correct, in a rocket. Now, how does a rocket get up to outer space? Hmm, it's a really big machine. Well, Miss Blair has some exciting things for us to see today. So why don't we get started? Everyone pay attention and use your listening ears because Miss Blair is going to tell you the supplies we need. To begin this experiment, we're going to need one bottle, a cork, vinegar, baking soda, one teaspoon, a measuring cup, and some paper towels in case some things get messy. Now that we have everything, let's get this thing started. Wait! Before you attempt this, make sure that you're with an adult or outside in a safe area. Take precautions. First, we're going to pour one cup of vinegar. Now we're going to pour our one cup of vinegar into our bottle. Now we're going to take a teaspoon of baking soda. We want to make sure to keep our cork in our hand and close by, so as soon as we add it to the vinegar, we're ready to go. Does anybody have any predictions as to what they think is going to happen? To make things less messy, we're going to make a funnel out of an index card. Now we're going to insert the funnel into the bottle and dump in the baking soda. Plug the bottle with the cork, shake, and then run for cover. Now let's observe what's going to happen. Wow, that was so cool. What are some of the things that you all saw? Right, you heard it make a loud popping noise. Right, the cork flew up in the air. Is there any noises anybody heard? Right, we heard some sizzling. Well, when we mixed the baking soda and the vinegar, it created a gas called carbon dioxide. Those mixed created enough force for the cork to pop off the top. Did you notice how much fuel it took just to get one little cork to go? That's just like a rocket. All that force caused by the new gases caused so much power for it to explode. Now we're going to watch some videos of some real life rockets so we can compare the two. Thank you for joining us today and I can't wait to see everyone tomorrow. A special thank you to my brother for filming and editing this video.